After a long and somewhat painful three and a half month wait, episode two of Telltale's second season of The Walking Dead finally dropped a week ago, or longer depending on when you're watching this video. The first episode did a great job of kicking the season off and introducing players to new characters and showing them what to expect from the coming episodes, but some fans complained that it didn't really stand on its own as an individual story. And it really didn't. But now with episode 2's release, we get to see how this one compares to both the previous episode and the episodes from season 1. What's your name? I'm... Carly. Carly? That's a sweet name. Now there's one thing I need to clear up about this episode right away. There's even less gameplay, at least in the traditional sense, than there usually is in an episode of The Walking Dead. This episode is almost entirely driven by narrative and choices, and save for one little five or ten minute stretch around the midway mark in the episode, there's very little action to speak of. So if you were hoping they'd add some of that, you're going to be sorely disappointed. However, if you were looking for more of the storytelling that episode one introduced us to, you're going to be as overjoyed playing this as I was. In a lot of ways, the choice to cut down on traditional gameplay actually works very well in this episode, as it really allows Telltale to focus on the new characters and plot lines that they introduced in Episode 1. It lets them get into the characters and let you really get to know them, and fleshes out some of the subplots that they introduced in the last episode. We also finally get introduced face-to-face -to, -face to our main antagonist, Carver, voiced by Michael Madsen, who seems to be appearing in more video games than actual movies these days. As expected, he does as amazing a job voicing his character as the rest of the voice cast does. Meanwhile, the main story of the episode itself is one of the best we've seen in The Walking Dead, period. It serves as an excellent way to drive the series forward, providing definite setup for the three episodes to come, while at the same time standing on his own is an extremely interesting story. Some of the subplots from episode one really boil to the surface in this episode, gaining a lot of priority that they didn't have previously, and they drive some pretty difficult decisions during the game. Most of the new characters are interesting, and the returning character from episode one is pretty much one of the best moments of the year so far. Of course, shortly after said happy reunion with old friend from season one, everything turns terrible and people start dying and violence starts happening and death and zombies and unhappiness because it's The Walking Dead. But at least that unhappiness is extremely well executed. In fact, it all leads up to one of the best final 15 minutes of any game I've ever played. And the game ended on a bit of a cliffhanger that pretty much left me clawing at my screen, screaming, Please God, Telltale, release the next one tomorrow, because I can't take this cliffhanger that you left me on. Of course, it isn't all perfect. Like I said earlier, there's very little gameplay in the traditional sense, so if you weren't a big fan of the Walking Dead formula of conversations and dialogue and choices and things of that nature, this episode probably won't turn you into a believer. And the same technical glitches and frame rate issues and the like that have been with the series since it started two years ago are still present. But those minor flaws aside, this is an excellent episode and definitely gives me a lot of hope for the rest of season two. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes done things that we regret it's not my place to talk about someone else's past you know seems like we're already in the middle of it tell me about it when all is said and done the story and characters more than overcome the simple gameplay and occasional technical issues the writing and choices in this episode are some of the best in the walking dead yet which is really something i can say about the episode as a whole it's not just the best of season two thus far, it's among the best of The Walking Dead, period. It builds upon everything introduced in the previous episode extremely well, while also adding in new elements and characters of its own that all mesh together perfectly. Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 2 gets an official score of a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and maybe a favorite. Subscribe if you really enjoyed it. And as always, I'm Alabama98. Thanks for watching.
Feels pretty good. <laughs> 